All right, we are back for more Breath of the Wild. And today I got a new controller. It's battery powered instead of just charging from uh, from the game system. So yeah, hopefully that'll allow me to play longer. So let's just get into it. Uh, yeah, that's where we last saved. Alright, what were we trying to do last time? Oh yeah, we are trying to find the guy to show him the fish, I think, yeah. But we haven't found him yet. Well, I still got one more shrine left to go to. And it's the one over, over here, but it's too cold for us to go there. So, what to do? Hmm. I'm gonna get used to the controls again. Because now I'm using a different controller. What if I should go up there? I think it was called the Temple of Time. Yep. Maybe you can find something good in here. Goblin. At first, what's that? No oh, throwing spear. No, I saw the common. Now there he is. I want to do a sneak attack on him. Ah, oh, correct. Never mind. <laughs> So what else is around here? Creepy. Anything else? No. Doesn't look like it. I think it's the song behind here, though. Nope. 
Oh. Oh. I was trying to throw it at him. Let's get into that time, I guess. That's nothing. I'm gonna go back to that fire and before anything else comes at me. These things have a lot of like spare parts and stuff. The heck is that? Oh, whatever that was. That's a strange sound. What is that out there? It's glowing. Something following me. Oh. Oh, it's just a temple. Key swings. Those are keyses, okay. So that was just a temple. I mean, the shrine that I went to earlier. Well, there's a fire, and I'm guessing the old man, the other old man that I already, already met, is back there. We're place for a fence. Wait, is this is this is a no. This is, this is a different fire. Yeah, I'm still far away from where the guy is. I don't know what that's for. That's for over here. All right, no. Spooky enemies popped up on the way over here, so that's good. This guy back over there? No, he's not. There's a guy in here. Ah, he's asleep. Yeah, talk to me. Oh, it's you. Whoa, what was so important that you had to separate an old man from his sleep? I cooked something? Hmm. Let's take a look at what you cooked up there, shall we? <laughs> not bad. So you're not good, but not bad either. In case you were wondering, I know I know you're poking around in my diary. <laughs> that said, if you do end up figuring out how to create that dish I wrote about, my warm doublet is all yours. If it's raw meat you're after, try hunting in this force of spirits. You'll find it in the northern part of the plateau. Well, I am looking for raw meat. Said the force of spirits. In the northern part of Plateau. That's all the way over there. Uh, oh. I guess I'll put a treasure chest there. Okay, so I make a right. Go past the Temple of Time. Actually, I could probably just I could just fast travel. <coughs> Strafing, rumble side to side while ch changing direction. Pressing ZL. 
Try moving sideways while pressing ZL. Okay. It's cool. Oh, crud. Holy, what? Jeez. Take this. Not that. Okay, so probably should wait till morning to do this. Go to the right. Oh, look, another keys. Looks like I can attack it from a distance now. Right direction. Uh, I don't know way. I need to just, I need to just find some animal. Feed it for its meat, basically. It's a fire. Wait, it's an old man. How the? Wait, what are those? Those fireflies? Yeah, they are. I don't know what they're for. I think it said they, you can cook them somehow, but yeah, I'll take them. Okay. What's over here? Oh, acorns. Oh, it's a warthog. Come to Papa. Ah, crud. Ugh. Come back here. <sighs> What's up there? I can just barely reach it. Ugh. I know it's something up there. I don't know what it is, but it's glowing, and I want it. Chickaloo tree nut? Okay. back again. Sorry about that. For some reason my stream stopped. I didn't even notice. But I defeated all the Pacoblins if you didn't see that. I don't know when the when the thing stopped. But yeah, I defeated all the Pacoblins. And now we got this treasure to open. Opal. Seems valuable. Alright. Alright, still scavenging there. 
the remains. Meanwhile, I'm still looking for a warthog to get their meat. Got some apples. And blue nightshade. Sounds cool. Alright, here, warthog, warthog. There's gotta be one around here. I've seen four already. I've been defeated by most of them. It's kinda sad. Hyrule herb. Okay, probably wouldn't come over here because of the, the goblins. Also, I figured out that these butterflies are collectible. I don't know what they're used for exactly. I can't just imagine cooking them. I don't know, maybe you can. There's gotta be some warthogs around here. There's a lizard. Take that. I'm just collecting everything now. I think that was a squirrel. Not a warthog. I can't get meat from a squirrel. Oh. That looks breakable. Yep. That was right. Amber, cool. Alright, now to find a warthog. Probably have to use an arrow to get a headshot on it in order to defeat these things, because they. Their hearing is way too good. That's a lot of these. A lot of these butterflies around here. There we go. Got some more Hylian shrooms. Alright. Don't see a warthog from up here. Actually, I've been calling it a warthog this whole time. I don't even know if that's the real name of it. Let's get more of these shrooms while I can. There's one. I don't know if I can shoot it from here, though. A bit far. But I don't want to get in his line of sight, either. As soon as I do, it's going to run. Come on. Get out from behind the tree. Come on. Come on, Pumba. Move to the right a little bit. Okay, I'll do it then. It doesn't even see me. Alright, here we go. Ha! <laughs> Got him! Ah. <sighs> Thank goodness. Alright. Now I can go back here. Luckily the shrine's right there, so... Oh wait, but he's not gonna be there. He's gonna be asleep. Oh, he has to be asleep in order for me to do it. Or I can just cook it now and... sit by the fire wait for him to come back and be in his bed. That sounds creepy. <laughs> but why do I have to give it to him there? At his hut? When he's basically seems like he's trying to follow me everywhere I go. I should be able to just give him to him whenever I find him. But whatever. Okay, so Yeah, his hut's down there. Jeez, I forgot how high up I, I am. Oh boy. As long as I get to Yeah, I can get I can get down there and rest for 
moving down even more. I should be safe enough. Anyway, they've got some more of those purple mushrooms. I think they're called rush rooms. Yeah, I want to get some more of those. I don't know what their specialty is. I'm going to guess speed, just from the name, but... I don't know, you can never be too sure until you try it out. Oh! <laughs> that was close. Okay, I can jump, I can drop pretty far without fall damage being a thing, so. It's good to know. Well, that's a long drop. Yeesh. Whoa, what the? Oh. They didn't even see him. Ooh, boy, 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 boy. That's treacherous. Don't look down. Don't look down. No matter how long you want to. Or how much you want to. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I should be able to make it. It's closer than it looks. Okay, I shouldn't fall off. Okay. The cobbles haven't come back yet. Still chopping down the tree? Yep. Well, still working on the tree. What are those? Oh, birds. <laughs> Let's we'll see where he gets his apples from. Oh, he was still wish to a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang it. I want to <laughs> I want to sneak up on the birds. Break probably get beef from them too. Is it going back home? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I need to get this uh that uh double it. So I'm going to have to cook the, uh, what's it called? Well, whatever it is called. I know I had to make it with fish. Spiced pepper. And raw meat. I'm going to use one of each. And then see if that's enough. Maybe enough. I only have one fish. There it is. I cooked something. Wait, is that? That looks just like my signature perfect dish: spicy meat and sea seafood. That yeah. spicy meat and seafood fry. But how did you? Well, I suppose that is unimportant. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Uh, of course, Hyrule Bass. How could I have forgotten? Well done. Now please allow me to reward your culinary efforts with this warm doublet. Thank you. Finally. With that, you'll be able to resist the bite of colder environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat and seafood fry recipe, so I can do without the double warm doublet. Thank you. Alright, now I can finally go. But first, I'm going to wait till morning, because I don't, I don't feel like dealing with any... 
any uh, skeleton monsters. Dealing with regular monsters is bad enough as it is. Alright. That's a bird right there. Okay. Alright. First, I'm going to put on the doublet. Looking cool. Or, or warm, I should say. Then we're going to get these acorns. I believe they're acorns. Yep. And make our way into the frozen tundra. I'm going right away, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> or am I? Yeah, there we go. It's right over there. I can actually see it. Uh, still overcoming that cold a little bit. Ah, oh, no more spicy peppers? Okay. Alright. Now I can finally make my way up to the temple. This wood? It is wood. Just wrapped up neatly for me. Karak leaf? Wait, who? Some tell you that leaf is, is uh, necessary. So, pretty sure it goes on the weapons, so I can just drop this, take that, yep. These things are over everywhere. Whoa. What? What? What happened? What the heck? Wait, was the water too cold? Is that what happened? Well, what do you know? Well... Need to get the leaf again. At least my heart's back. Well, I know that for now. I wanted to get in that the that boat, but I guess I can't. There's no rocks close enough to me for me to jump across. So, because I'm going on foot. Hey, what's up there? Oh, that's where that's where I woke up in. Wait, how am I supposed to get across? Huh. Actually I guess I have to go back that way. I have to go up there. Okay. At least I'm not freezing. Not anymore. If I dip a toe in that in the water, I'm going to. Actually, let me change my weapon. That's an axe. So I'm just stuck it in there. Uh, 
that is right there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, crud. Ha! <laughs> they can get me. They can jump on me. They can jump on you. Ow! Wanna shoot arrows, huh? Take that. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> okay, stay down. Hoi. That was a chest here. Got some arrows. Who knows in this box? Use all that box space for an apple. Just one solitary apple. Man, you guys are dumb. Alright, how far am I again? Looks like there's a bridge or something right there. No, that's a waterfall. <laughs> Definitely not a bridge, okay. Uh, ah, great, there's more. Yeah, they see me. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Saw those barrels. Club's on fire. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's another chest. Yep. With more arrows. Cool. And I think about it. I could have probably just teleported to the to the shrine over here and make it. Trip faster. Then do I go up here? Pretty sure I had to go in this direction. Following, following the green pin. Wonder if it gets even colder the more I go up. Also, I should probably heal. <laughs> We need to get more than three hearts soon. There's no way I can go through this whole game with only three hearts. More ruins. Looks like I'm at the close to the peak. So kind of far away the from the pin though. And looking at the topography on the mini map, looks like I'm gonna be going down again soon. Get over there. Yeah, it's right there. What's up here? I'm curious. It's gotta be something of worth to have all the way up here on the top of the mountain. What the huh? Ah, uh, I enjoy gazing out in the world from your breathtaking view. 
This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope to look for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin on your map as a mark. That's all this place is. And I got some opal. Great. Wait, is there something else here? No. Alright. Oh, the shrine's right there, so... Man, if I had that gl paraglider right now. Oh, that was that was risky. I'm still facing the right direction. Oh dear, there it is. I don't know how I missed it. I'm gonna go a little bit lower and then climb down. Just a hop, skip, and a jump over there. Ugh, more McCollins, of course. Japan can just snipe them from a from over here with the bow. An arrow. I do have some bomb arrows though. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> I always do that. Okay, how do I change the... B I can't quick change the arrows that I use. Seems kind of weird, but okay. Really? Going Super Mario 64 on me, huh? Okay. Guess I gotta watch out for those now. While I'm... Shooting these guys. <laughs> oh, it wasn't all three of them? Now it was. I'll take your meat. Oh, they did have explosives. Huh, I didn't even know that. I just used the bomb arrows to get all three of them at once. Alright, up to the shrine. Kenamut Shrine. I've seen this before. Let's go down, down, down. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Or something like that. <laughs> I've got another rune. To you, sets foot in the shrine. Blah, blah, blah. Off the shrine. Trial. Cryonis trial. Cryon. Like. Cry. Like freezing things? Well, it is pretty cold, so I can imagine that. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Build ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use Pryonis on ice pillar to break it. Cool. All 
Alright, so... Nice. Awesome. Okay. So I guess I use Cryonis to... To... Oh, what do I do? Something I need to do to open this. Do I hit these things? No, that didn't work. Oh, I think I see. A way to no. Oh, oh, there is. I didn't even. I thought it was like on the ground. What the huh? Whoa. Okay, you're asking for a bomb arrow. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. So that's entrance. Oh, I see. At the not do that. Oh my goodness! That what? Well, I play myself. Now I can do the whole thing over again. Well, I still have it, so. Yeah, might as well do that now. <laughs> but not that, not that. Please. Need to get the better. Need to use the controls better. Stay back a bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I know you're coming this time. Oh right, yeah, I still have the other ones from. Four. Uh, okay. Go up here. And oh, there's a chest. Uh, about to go back down there. All right. Oh, that one stays. Now the travel spear. Cool. I didn't even realize that when I walked past. Then again, I was being uh, accosted by. A robot, so all right. What's the name? What's the name again? Kanamut. Your resourcefulness is overcoming. Blah blah blah. And you get my fourth spirit orb. Uh huh. May the goddess smile upon you.
Ugh. Sorry about that. Alright, uh... Now... I have four of the spirit orbs. Now I get that paraglider, right? Let me guess, the old man's gonna be right there when I get out of the, out of the shrine. Well, he wasn't right there, but he's coming. There he is. <laughs> With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on the plateau. Oh, ho, oh, oh, extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines of the endpoints. Find a spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines will cross, there I will be waiting. Did you just disappear on me? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, an X. It'll be somewhere like here. The Temple of Time, which I just went to. Okay, so. The quickest way to get there would be f from the Shrine of Resurrection. Well, that was something. Okay, I'm back again because my stream decided to cut off on me again. Luckily, you didn't miss much. I just walked down the, the hill and almost walked into the water down there. So, yeah, we're making our way to the Temple of Time. Hopefully, I don't run into any skeletons on the way. I'm probably going to, knowing my luck. Yep, there they are. Round queue. Stop aiming up. Hey. Just go up the stairs. Go in the place. Okay, that wasn't that glowing before. Pray. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed the spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Heart container? Yes, please. You wish for another heart container? Yes. I need more hearts. I shall grant the power you seek. Life force has been strengthened. Increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Yes, finally. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh, old man again. Oh, he's up there now. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Come up here, quickly. Kyrie, can you explain why you disappeared on me? I'm still curious about that. Also, how did I get up there? What is... I thought I saw something moving outside. I thought I saw something moving. 
I guess I didn't. Okay, how do I get up there? Do I just climb all the way up there? I didn't see any staircases or anything. You know, I... I am... I am so... I so admire Link's, like, upper body strength in order to just climb like this with almost zero effort. Can I rest here? Oh, I can't. Ow. Oh, you live and learn. I'm gonna go for the shorter side now. I wonder if I can climb laterally <laughs> like that. Or horizontally, I should say. I'm not gonna take any chances. Yeah. There you go. Okay, don't fall from the through the roof. Oh, there he is. Couldn't pick the easier spot for me to get to. <laughs> well done there, young one. Ooh, voice acting. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. Whoa. Bright light. Whoa. Shut up, Carhorn. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. Oh, he's a ghost of spirit. spirit That's why you could teleport so much. To overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. That would be nice to know. True form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. So that's what they called Guardians. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the 
duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princesses there, Commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Galen. But nay. Galen was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. So they became evil, the Guardians? Or they started working for Ganon, I should say. Oh. survived to face how alone. how link you are our final hope the fate of hyrule rests with you that princess was my own daughter my dear zelda Okay, that was Zelda talking to us. Knight, who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. here you must save her my daughter and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon somehow Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point yeah, especially since I died to warthogs almost. That you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. The elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the Dueling road peaks. as it proceeds north. Okay. Go on. Here's my paraglider, just as promised. Thank you. I didn't touch my controller for a while. Uh, press X while you're in the air to use it. Okay. Complete that mission. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Destroy Ganon. Okay. Seek out Impa. Well, I'm pretty sure I know which one I should do first. Alright, so, 
go slightly to the left. Have I found the tower for that region? No. Just these two regions. Alright. Well, I think I'll make my way to the Great Plateau Tower. Dot! There's a chest there! <sighs> Why? I have to go back there and get it. At least I have a paraglider. A paraglider to make travel faster. Somewhat. Okay, so how do I use this again? I jump. Ah, there we go. I did it. Doesn't let me glide too far, though. This is going to be fun. No, not that one. Okay. Ouch. Okay, that was less fun than I expected, but still fun. Alright, I'm just gonna camp here for till morning. That way we don't deal with more skeleton monsters. Alright. Oh, I should probably eat something. Actually, I should, I should just eat that steak. Uh, oh, right. It's in the... Yeah. yeah I'll eat another one. Why not? All right. Now we're going to get that chest. Then make a way to see Impa. I'm curious what was in that chest. What can it be like a staircase to go through up there? Let me have them climb on the outside of it. Is there a way for me to climb up there? See must see a climb up there. Can I go through a hole in the roof? I should be able to. Or not. Okay then. I'll go up this way then. Yeah, there's a floor up here. Dud! Oh, you see. Another chest. Ah, of course. How did I not see this over here before? Uh, I don't need any more bows. Anyway. Wait, I could just climb up here. 
Man, I'm blind. Just straddle the wall. Wait. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna start from up here. I should be able to make it to that roof hole. serious okay okay there's a ladder here are you serious I You could have told me that, King. Also, you could have told me that there was a chest there before you disappeared on me again. Though I should have been able to see it <laughs> myself. Another bow. Well, that's better than the other ones I've seen. Alright, let's drop one of these. Maybe they're all the same. I've been using this one, so I'll just drop it. Alright. Now that I've gotten that. Make way to the plateau tower. I start making my way to Impa.